Hey guys, it's me the Don Fanatic and welcome back to a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded a Wi-Fi battle to my channel, but thank you to Siz Awesome. He was very kind um, and recorded the battle for me. And basically I now have a battle to give you guys, which is which is really cool. I had this battle yesterday with Brand anymore. Um, I'll leave a link to his Twitter and YouTube in the description below. It's a mixed tier fun battle. Um, so hopefully you guys will get to see some Pokemon, which you don't see too often in this generation. Um, I tried to bring a, a, quite a mixture. Um, I didn't really want to bring any OU or Uber Pokemon, so uh, give myself that little bit of an extra challenge, you know. So I start off with Rotom Fan because it's my choice scarf user and it's got Volt Switch. Um, seems like a pretty sensible lead to me. He starts off the Mian Shower and I expect him to go for the Fake Out. Um, so I just decided to stay in because I know I can Volt Switch, but based on how much this Volt Switch actually does, I could have probably just Air Slashed and killed this Mian Shao, and that would have made it uh, a lot easier, or made this battle a lot easier, but never mind. Uh, I have Donphan, which is such a great physical wall, it just literally takes physical hits for fun. Like, literally, you guys will, like, see, it takes, like, uh, it's just amazing how good Donphan is. I know, obviously. It's like my signature Pokemon, but it is actually such a good physical war. Um, in comes Ludicolo, obviously because I'm Scarf and I went first. My opponent now gets this initiative from his U-turn, so now I'm forced to switch. Luckily I do have pretty much a perfect switch into this Ludicolo. I'm pretty stuffed if it has Ice Beam. Well, actually, I say I'm stuffed, but I'm pretty sure I'd take the Ice Beams pretty comfortably anyway. My opponent does go for the Scald and obviously he gets the Burn. But Roserade is one good counter to this game because obviously I do have Natural Cure. I also run Rest on this uh, Roserade, um, which works really well in um, oh, side by side with Natural Cure. And I do actually manage to sort of show that off twice this battle, I think, which I don't actually know if I've ever used Rest on this thing before. I've always had Rest on it, but I've never actually found an opportunity to use Rest, so it works quite well. So I do get Spikes up. Um, when I thought about my defensive core of Roserade and Donphan, I didn't really think of it as, you know, set up hazards. But when I thought, oh, you know what, I have, I have a Spike Setter Upper, and a Stealth Rock Setter Upper, and my opponent did ha didn't have a Defogger or a Rapid Spinner. I don't think. So I thought, you know what, why not just get Rocks and uh, Spikes up, especially with Mian Shao having um, Regenerator, it will help pretty much nullify that. Anyway, uh, I don't know what's happened over these last few turns or the last turn. I know I went for a sludge bomb on that thing and it done loads of damage. Um, but judging by this thing having rain dish and not swift swim, it makes me think it's a, a bulkier Ludicolo. But um, judging how much that sludge bomb actually done, if it was meant to be a specially defensive Ludicolo, that done a lot of damage. Anyway, in comes Volcarona, and here I go for rest. If I'd have gone for sludge bomb again, that could have done some good damage. And well, what's about to happen wouldn't have happened, but never mind. Um, as he did set up the rain, his next few turns kind of confused me. I don't really know why he'd done it. I guess he done it for the boosts. But I go into Arcanine because it's a pretty safe switch. I mean, I resist Bug, I resist Fire, it's in the rain. And uh, Intimidate isn't really going to help, but you know what? It's just my ability. He goes for the Fiery Dance, so he's, he must want the special attack boost. Because in the rain, that does like nothing. It actually does more than I thought it would, especially because I'm in the rain and I resist it. I haven't got any special defensive investment, but yeah, it it didn't, well, it still didn't do too much. I switch here expecting him to want to switch, um, but he decides to Quiver Dance instead, which is not good. I'm pretty confident because I'm a choice banded Arcanine. I can take this thing out with Flare Blitz, but not in the rain. Because obviously Flare Blitz is neutral because it's Bug Fire. Um, he gets with the fiery dance here. He's faster at plus one um, than my modest scarfed Rotom. So Rotom fan does go down here. I was going to go for I can't remember what I was going to go for. Probably an air slash, but it, t it takes me down, which is really annoying. So I go into Arcanine again because it's such a safe switch. Pretty sure it can't kill me with any of its moves. Um, he goes for a Bug Buzz, and this does loads considering it's. Uh, it's resisted. That's nearly a hundred damage. I go for the flare blitz here, and from pretty much full health, Volcarona just gets completely destroyed by Arcanine. Physical, a physically offensive Arcanine is so powerful, and it gets extreme speed as well, which is always handy to have on a team. Um, 
So I do live with eight, and I want to keep Arcanine around because I know it's going to be a good revenge killer. It can—it's one of the things that can kill Mian Shao pretty easy. If it was down to a one v one between Mian Shao and Arcanine, I know I could win as long as he hasn't. Uh, as long as he's already used Fake Out, rather. Um, Don Fan pretty much keeps this uh, Mian Shao in check. It's so good at taking these hits. It goes to the Drain Punch here. Look at how little this does. About 40 damage, which is <laughs> absolutely nothing on my little Don fan. Um, here I go for the Stealth Rock. I'm expecting him to want to switch, honestly, because I didn't think he'd want to try and sit here and punch my Don fan because, well, it wouldn't be doing much. So after leftovers, I'm really not, well, I'm about 30 HP less than what I started the turn with. So here he decides to U turn out. Probably expecting an Earthquake here. Um, I've, I was thinking for some reason that. Fighting resist ground, and I still don't know, but he's probably expecting me to go for an earthquake here and goes into his wheezing, which I do go for. Um, I did kind of think that, but I thought, you know, I'll just play safe because I want to get rid of that Mian Shao. So um, his wheezing is here now. Because Rotan's dead, I only have, I'm thinking to myself, I only really have Empoleon, which can quite easily take on this wheezing, and if I can bring it in on a turn where it tries to go for a sludge bomb. I should be pretty much good to go with Empoleon. Um, but I do decide to bring in Rose Road because it's a safe switch. I expected him to want to go for a Will O Wisp because obviously Don Fan's a physical attacker and Burn will pretty much nullify my leftovers. Um, and obviously, because Rose Road has natural cure, it makes it the best choice to switch into. Now he swaps out. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't carry the Fire Blast, which he doesn't. Um, and in comes Mian Shao. And I don't really know why because Mian Shao can't really do too much to Rose Road. But Stealth Rocks and Spikes did a little bit of damage. I go for another layer of Spikes here because we still have 5 versus 5. It would be quite helpful to still have um, or to have more Spikes and more Stealth Rocks. More Stealth Rocks? Um, just Stealth Rocks and more Spikes on the field. Um, here he goes for the U turn. He doesn't go for the Fake Out, which confuses me. Why he can go for a free Fake Out, I don't know. Um, it wouldn't have taken me out, but it definitely brought me down to a lower range of HP. Um, in comes Gas Bag, the Wheezing again. I think I used this opportunity just to go for, oh no, you go for a Giga Drain here, and it actually doesn't do too bad to this Wheezing as it's resisted. I also don't think I have any special attack investment in this Rose Array. Um, so, looking at it that way, that isn't too bad, to be honest. Um, and every time Wheezing now wants to come in, it's going to get, oh no, it's not going to get hurt by spikes because. Obviously it levitates and levitating Pokemon don't get hurt by spikes, which is actually one of the only logical things Game Freak have ever done. Well done. So this turn I take advantage of having Weezing in here and I do go for the rest. Now I'm expecting him to want to go for a sludge bomb to try and uh, get some damage off because it's neutral. Um, he does, so I'm kind of hoping he goes for another sludge bomb here and I'm going to make the hard switch into my um, Empoleon I believe because this is my chance as to where I can get a free switch into Empoleon and I can get an agility up which um, would um, put my Empoleon in a really good place probably faster than the rest of this team but it makes a switch into Weavile um, so that's really annoying he obviously wasn't expecting this he was obviously expecting me to keep Roserade in I don't know why because I've gone for the rest and I have Natural Cure I think it's quite obvious I'm going to want to switch um, I stayed in not thinking about Brick Break, and then as soon as I pressed my move to go for the agility, I thought, on the way, he's going to have Brick Break. And then after I'd gone for the agility, I'm like, oh no, he's going to go for Ice uh, Shard, and that probably means I'll kill myself after Life Orb. But he doesn't. So, um, it probably means he doesn't have Ice Shard and probably has Fake Out or something. So that Weavile's gone, it pretty much did nothing. Spikes and Stealth Rocks didn't really help. Well, it might have helped with um, a Focus Sash, so that's why Stealth Rocks is always helpful, guys. Now I know I want to keep Empoleon around, I can still fire off two hits with it um, after Light Bulb recoil. So I'm going to want to keep Empoleon around for that wheezing. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to be faster anyway than a floating purple gas ball, but who knows, it's Pokemon. Um, I, I know he's going to go for a fake out to try and take me out, so obviously Donphan is the safe switch here. And I think this is the time where I finally realised that Donphan is going to be able to take out Mianfu, not Mianfu, Mianxiao quite quick and easy. Um, I go for the Ice Shard expecting him to want a U-turn and then I, seeing how much Ice Shard done made me think that a stab not very effective Earthquake would probably kill this thing. Mian Shao is so frail, it's a glass cannon. Um, this is me still thinking that 
fighting types resist ground, and I'm still not entirely sure. But he goes for the poison jab for some reason. I expect he thought I was going to swap into Rose Raid. I don't know why I would. Um, but he goes for the drain punch, and his HP is still a half. And Don Fan is just eating these hits still. Um, he keeps going for the drain punch, and I think it's this turn where I finally think, you know what? You've got to get out of here because Mian Chao, you're causing way too much hassle for me. And uh, I just go for the earthquake here, and I believe I take this thing out. And if I don't, oh look, there you go, fighting doesn't resist ground. Who who knew? I'm sure all you guys did know, but I didn't. Um, I, well, I was pretty confident I could then take him out, obviously, with an ice shard next turn if I needed to. So he's now down to three Pokemon, I still have five, so I'm in a really good position here. And thanks to Spikes and Stealth Rocks, I can now actually take down this Ludicolo with an Ice Shard. I was quite sceptical as to whether it would actually take it out or not, and it actually did, which was really good. I wasn't too afraid um, if, if I didn't kill it. Now Mian Shao was gone, I was quite confident I could finish this battle off without Don Fan. But Don Fan has done such good work in this battle. Two kills for a defensive wall. Then, then comes in th this thing, and I don't know if that was good English or not, but damn, Mega Pinsir is so scary. But he doesn't really play it well, which means it wasn't too scary and too hard to get rid of. He, he Megas, which is really good, because now if he wants to switch out and bring it back in, he's pretty much dead after Stealth Rocks. He wouldn't get affected by spikes, but Stealth Rocks would, be, would ruin him. Here we go for the Ice Shard, thinking that he's going to go for a return and just obliterate me but he gets for close combat and I live which one was a surprise but two why close combat why not return because return would get what was that it's 102 power or something at max or something stupid then you get your aerial eight boost which is weird um, but I go for an ice shard here and it doesn't quite kill him he goes to the X scissor and takes out Domfan so Domfan has basically well has killed two Pokemon and pretty much took out this Mega Pinsir. So if this Mega Pinsir had been played right, it could have been really, really threatening to my team, but fortunately for me, my opponent didn't play it very well. Um, in comes Arcanine with the Intimidate. He switches here, which is really stupid. He should have really kept it in. Um, and he could have, I mean, he could have gone for a quick attack or something. I think I go for the Extreme Speed just in case. My, I don't think my opponent would have known I had Extreme Speed, but he went into uh, his Weezing, expecting a physical move, but now I know his pincer's dead. I don't really have any need to keep Arcanine around anymore, so I now have Death Order in Arcanine. I go into my Empoleon expecting him to want to go for a Sludge Bomb again, which he does do this time, unlike last time where he just switched. Um, I go for the Hydro Pump and I miss. Of course, of course I miss. And he goes to the Will O Wisp and hits. And Will O Wisp is going to do enough damage to me where I die. So that was really, really frustrating. And at this point I thought, no, 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 why are you doing it to me? So I have got my Arcanine left. And you know what? This this is my Arcanine into Beast. Choice Band, choice band Flare Blitz. I, I mean, I know this Weezing hasn't got much HP, but this thing hits like an absolute truck. I really recommend it. I know people use... Stall seems to be really common in the meta game at the moment and I hate stall. I hate everyone who uses stall with a passion. I like to go offensive with my teams. It's a lot more fun that way for me. Quick paced defense. Um, so I'm just going to go kamikaze on that wheezing and just destroy him. In comes Greninja. Now Greninja is like... Uh, Greninja? Uh, Kecleon. That's because I saw my nickname. Kecleon didn't actually have to do anything because that thing is just going to kill itself. But you're not actually going to see what Kecleon can do this battle. Maybe next battle. Maybe next battle. But thank you for the battle, Brandon. It was a good, fun battle to have. Thanks, sis, for recording this video for me. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy and uh, enjoyed seeing a Wi Fi battle back on my channel. I certainly enjoyed narrating it. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad because I've got the flu. Um, and I haven't done it for quite a while. Uh, if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.